Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the Beer Review Guy. I've been asked a lot about about uh, Guinness's Guinness beer. Um, it's been a little, it's been a while since I've done a Guinness beer, um, so I just thought I'm going to do a revisit because I like Guinness. Um, so, so I picked up a couple different ones. Uh, I haven't re I haven't done a revisit. I think in a while. If I've done a revisit, can't remember. But this is the the draft or draught. I think it's if I remember correctly, it's draught is like draft. Anyway, that this is a cool bottle. Uh, has a toucan on it, balancing a Guinness on his beak. Uh, he's sitting on a uh, what do you call those? Uh, those directional uh, wind, uh, vein, a vein, a wind vein, or something like that. Um, thought that was pretty cool. I don't have a Guinness bottle in my collection, so I thought here's to be a cool one to to collect. Brewed in Ireland by Guinness and Company, St. James Gate, Dublin Eight, Ireland Brewers of Distinction since 1759. Imported by. Diageo Beer Company, USA, Norwalk, Connecticut. Enjoy chilled, straight from the bottle. Okay, Guinness Special Edition Bottle. Our legendary Guinness Draw Stout in a collectible bottle celebrating the famed Guinness campaigns of the 1930s and 19 and 50s so there you go use opener enjoy safely cool little cap i'll put that back on there i'll try not to damage it if i can release that pressure That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, wow. It's been a long time since I've smelled that aroma. Whew. You like my deal? This man made it for me. It's the way you can get your own. All right, let's see what we got here. Just got off work. Ooh. Ooh, does that look good? This does not have a date on it. It doesn't have the ABV on there either. I'll have to put it in the in the description. It's probably now my guess would be 4.55 4 4.5% or or 5% Just a guess. I just can't remember. Ooh. It looks it looks pretty fresh because this the head is just so fresh. It's so um, rich looking, quality looking. Uh, just looks really, really good. Uh, have to clean it. Let me let you get a look at this. It has a nice, rich mocha appearance to it. Mocha brown, um, very frothy, rich looking head. We've got a finger of head. The beer itself is dark, pretty much black. Getting a nice, Baker's cocoa, a little bit of a milk chocolate kind of aroma mixed in there. A little bit of roastiness, um, a little bit of coffee, not a whole lot. Just dark chocolate just smells just smells really good. Okay, for all the all the you that want me to have asked me about the Guinness and if I've had one. 
And if I like it, here's your answer. Oh, wow. Woo. That's good. Very smooth. Medium to full body. Um, the head is, is rich to the taste. Um, very smooth, soft head to it, um, just to the mouth feel. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a, a low to medium bitter on it. Um, a little bit of coffee bitterness type bitterness. Um, mm, mm, there's more sweetness in the head than the, than the beer itself. There's not a whole lot of sweetness to this. Um, it's just a, just a nice tasting, nutty, roasty tasting, uh, beer. Uh, they're just, it's really good. Yeah. Wow. I mean, look how drinkable that is. I've already got it halfway okay somebody remind me the draw that's how it looks like it's spelled i can't remember if that's how it's pronounced that's how long it's been since i've watched a video a guinness type video of this i can't remember if that means draft or maybe it's pronounced draft <laughs> uh, all right remind me all right, well, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Um, there you go. See you all on the next one. All right, bye.